would start off the third quarter if they keep the defensive pressure up. Scotty, there's always something going on here at Runout College, just, not sure. just in athletics, but the whole community involved here. So today, Scott Allison is announcing that Runout College will start their 22nd Division III sponsored athletic program. Scotty, tell us what it is, the process, and what was the decision to start? What sport is it? It's wrestling. Did you grapple with it? I grappled with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're excited that we'll be um, initiating a, a wrestling program here at Roanoke College. Our first step is to you know, heart, you know, find the right coach and hit the recruiting trail real hard, and uh, um, we'll start competing in the fall of 2021. So that'll give us a year, um, you know, a year and several months, uh, to make sure that we recruit and we're, we're in a position to start off uh, you know, with a bang. Well, this will make the fifth ODAC team now bringing in wrestling. And it's a no-brainer. When you think about it, it's a hotbed here. Sure. Christiansburg is known up and down the East Coast, uh, state championship after state championship. You've got Grundy. You know, instead of Emory and Henry, which they're firing up too, mm -hmm. you know, now there's going to be some competition. you got Birds. you got Franklin County. So whoever the coach comes in here, they got a big pool to choose from. Well, sure, this is a great area for wrestling. And, and in all of our recruiting pockets where Rono College is known, I think that there are good wrestling programs. The profile of, of wrestlers, self-disciplined kids, good students, and uh, um, we're, we're excited to have them on our campus. You know, when we talk about the short and long-term plans of the program, one of the, the great thing, if, if you break it down, if you can bring in 30 to 35 wrestlers, that's a lot of money coming into the program. Sure, uh, yeah, Rono College is in a good position. We're uh, uh, we're, and we're always constantly trying to improve ourselves and be in a position to continue to uh, to be able to recruit and retain students. So uh, having another option, having another weapon, um, it helps the college from a enrollment standpoint in a big way. Well, I know you couldn't be more excited. We really are. We really are. So, Scotty, the big thing coming out here in the second half, the first five minutes are first huge. Five is, first, first five minutes are crucial. We, yeah, my, my men's lacrosse coach, Paul Griffin, back in the day, I can yeah, yeah, hear his story saying these first five minutes – in the last five minutes of the game, those are the two you know, most crucial periods. So we got to make sure we come out with a good, with a bang. You know, we were just talking about that. It's hard to believe, and I'm looking at the, you know, the winter sports are coming down close to the end. We're going to have baseball doubleheaders here in four weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Matt. Matt's upstairs. We we were talking about that earlier. We were going to blink, and it's going to be out here. and We're going to be playing in cold weather, but you know, we're, it's there. You know, it's we there. had we had three inches of snow two days ago and I stopped up by Hanging Rock Golf Course and Wayne G. He said, don't worry about it, Ron Satter, they call it for 71. He said, we're ready that's, to go. That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly Something right. he said about Global Warming. <laughs> well, Scotty, congratulations. Thanks so much. Uh, that's good for the program here and we look forward to well, it. Hey, we sure appreciate the job you guys do, you and Bob. Yeah, just well, wonderful team. You guys are fun to work with. I know our, enjoy, our, our uh, listeners enjoy you a heck of a lot. It's pierogi and grits. <laughs> we, got, we got the Yankee and the Southern.